Check this out. Alexa, ask House what's up. The trouble with a kitten is that eventually it is a cat. Uh, not the voice you were expecting. I hacked the poor girl and gave her IBM Watson's male voice. That phrase was from an online database of taglines. Here's another example from um, Jack Handy's Deep Thoughts, randomly selected. Uh, these are usually quite a bit longer. Alexa, ask House to read a deep thought. Is there anything more beautiful than a beautiful, beautiful flamingo flying across in front of a beautiful sunset? And he is carrying a beautiful rose in his beak, and also he is carrying a very beautiful painting with his feet. And also, you are drunk. <laughs> Those are really funny. Um, so today's video, I'm going to show you how we did that. So there are two new tricks to this compared to what we've shown in previous Alexa videos. The first is the IBM Watson speech synthesis engine. And the second is how we can take any arbitrary voice command and have Alexa translate that to text and pass that into onto any arbitrary home automation web server you might have via a URL uh, with a text string in it. That part's a little bit more exciting and powerful. Um, but first, let, uh, let me um, talk about the IBM text-to-speech engine. Um, we've used quite a few speech synthesis engines before. Um, last year, I was using the IBM, the, the Amazon, <laughs> many companies out there, the Google uh, text-to-speech engine. You would use uh, simply a URL and pass the text via that URL to the Google server and it would pass back a sound file that you would then play uh, whatever speaker you had hooked up to your home automation computer. That worked pretty well. I think it was a female voice. Um, but they recently limited, throttled that and they started requiring captions. So I switched to a, um, another service called voicerss.org, free service um, with a paid option I think for higher volume usage. This is okay, but um, the speech engine was a little bit more mechanical, a little less natural. This IBM Blue Mix voice, I think they call him Michael, is, is I think is the ticket. It's um, very realistic. It's a male voice. Most of the other ones are female. And uh, free for limited usage. I think you can get three calls per minute. After that, they'll throttle you. Um, if you use a cache system where you, if you set the same phrase previously and cache it to your local drive, you won't have to call it that often. And um, it works well. It's, uh, I have a Perl script. I'll put it in the blog post, the link below, that does that simple caching. Um, then all that's left to do is get that voice played. And what we do is we play that from the Home Automation Linux box through a Bluetooth connection to the uh, Amazon um, Echo, just a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, let me show you that. So over here in the corner underneath this white SmartThings hub, we have our little Intel Nook PC that's serving as our smart home uh, server. That blinking blue light is a USB Bluetooth adapter. So the speech synthesis occurs on the IBM servers, gets cached onto the SSD drive here, played on his sound card, but then transmitted to this uh, guy via the Bluetooth connection. So let me demo that again. Again, we can say any arbitrary voice command, as long as we prefix it with the skill name, which in our case is house. So I say, ask house to do this or tell house to do that. For example, Alexa, ask House what are the temperatures? Up 66, down 63, out 64. It showed last week that's echoed on our display here as well. Um, one more example. Uh, Alexa, ask House what is the power usage? Currently using 608 watts. Last night, minimum was 224 watts. Okay, now for the specifics on how we implement that house skill so that we can have the echo process any arbitrary commands and pass them on to your home automation 
web server. Uh, I'm using Mr. House, but any home automation server that supports uh, URL calls would work. So to set this up, you're going to need to use two free Amazon services. One is the Alexa Skill Builder, and the other is uh, uh, the Lambda Web Hosting Service. He'll act as a middleman that takes the commands from Alexa and passes them to your home automation server. So, uh, oh yeah, the um, I'll have in the link of the blog post below the screenshots and code links so that you don't have to copy it from this probably somewhat blurry video. But I'll just walk through this briefly just to kind of give you a feel for it. So uh, one of the tricks here is that you log in to this Amazon skill set builder with the same email address you use, you have your Echo registered as. That way they stay in sync so that you're not controlling someone else's Echo. Um, so you go here and you would say uh, in the screenshots I'll walk you through how you add a new skill but I'll just show you the skill I have set up and I'll blur out this part so that you don't mess around with my echo but it's really quite simple you just pick a name this can be arbitrary this is the important part this is the invocation name um, I have it set up as house but you give it a name like Charles or um, whatever you have. So this is where you'd say uh, ask house to do this or tell house to do that. You could say Jarvis there if you want to, if you're a uh, uh, fan of that guy. Um, then you can see the interaction model here is really quite simple compared to most of your Amazon skills. It's basically just taking whatever command you sent and passing it on to the server we defined here. And again this is blurred out so you don't mess with my server but how you create a server, you go to this second free service called the Lambda. Um, uh, it's called Lambda. And it's not too complicated either. It's basically this JavaScript code. You can use other codes. Uh, it supports multiple different coding languages. I'm using JavaScript here. And it acts as a proxy uh, host. And again, uh, I, I don't have it blurred out here. This is generic. But this is where uh, you would code in your house IP and um, the, how you pass the commands would be via that URL. So once you have those two services set up and linked to each other, you should be up and live and just start talking to your Echo. Uh, I think that would be it for today. I'll close with one last e-thought and uh, see you next month. Uh, Alexa, ask House to read a deep thought. A good way to threaten somebody is to light a stick of dynamite. Then you call the guy and hold the burning fuse up to the phone. Hear that? You say, that's dynamite, baby. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Later.